Hello, my friend. It is so good to see you. Are you ready to begin your life as the most powerful being in the universe? You can do it. All thanks to Dr. Scapula. Thank you so much for summoning my friend. I appreciate you bringing me into this realm. Now, I understand that you are interested in power. You are interested in the ultimate power. I have had many pupils before and I have been able to help them all. And I will be more than happy to help you. Now, my friend, tell me, are you interested in becoming a sorcerer? A supreme sorcerer, perhaps? I can do it. I can imbue you with that power. You will be able to rival even Dr. Strange will quake in his boots at your ability. Is that what you would like, my friend? All you need to do is take my hand and I will give it to you. No. You are looking for something different, my friend. What are you looking for? You want power, but you don't want it for power's sake, do you? You are noble after a fashion. That's a little unusual for the clientele that I work with, but um, hey, a job is a job. Now, what is it that you want to do with this power? Do you want to reshape the world in your image? Do you want to install yourself as the supreme ruler of Earth? No, you don't, do you? I can smell it. I know when someone wants raw power to rule over others. Oh, my friend, there have been so many over the years. Genghis Khan, he was so sickly as a child. But that old mage gave him just the right spell. And one little bit of his soul, and he ruled all of Outer Mongolia just from talking to me. And I want to be clear, I didn't even do anything. I simply showed him what was possible. I unlocked the potential inside of him and I can do the same for you. I can reach into your soul and I can pluck out what makes you special. What does make you special, friend? Is it your heritage, perhaps? Because I sense that you are titanous in your ability. I sense that you have a grand purpose. I met someone not long ago, a trickster god, who reminded me a little bit of you. But you are more blunt. You are more focused. 
I like that. You know what you want, don't you? And you think you can get it from me? Tell me, friend, what is it you want? Uh, I can see it in your eyes. You think you can take something from Dr. Scapula. You think you can force me into giving you something. Well, my friend, good luck. I cannot be forced. I cannot be compelled. I cannot be coerced. I simply am Dr. Scapula. So go ahead. Try it. Reach out your hand, as you have to so many others, and force me into compliance. You can't do it, can you? Do you want to know why? It is because, my friend, I exist in another dimension. I cannot be shaped by your reality. Enhancement. I cannot be forced with the power that you wield. I cannot be frozen with the time that you now tick, tick, tick. I am beyond all of that. I am pure soul. Why do you think I do these little deals with mortals? For the tiniest fragment of their soul. It is meat. It is drink to me. It powers me. And it makes me more and more powerful. But you know this, don't you? Ah. Uh, That I have the soul store, don't you? <laughs> nice try, but I don't. I don't have the soul store. You think that I'm lying, don't you? Your fancy instruments and divinations and squeezing of your fist tell you that the stole, soul stone resides with me, with Dr. Scapula, and that you must defeat me in order to take it. But you are wrong. You are incorrect. I do not have the soul stone. I am the soul stone. When the universe burst into creation and the stones came into being, then I was. There I became. But the other stones flung themselves out into the universe to see what mischief they could get up to. Me, I am soul, I am spirit. What good is the reality? What good is time or space to one such as me? No. What I want is soul. So, let me ask you, Thanos, are you willing to give up your soul? If you are, I will give you my power. I will slot into your lips.
to be loved and empower you. And all I ask for in return is your soul. I'll even sweeten the deal as long as that glove remains on your hand. You may keep your pathetic soul, but the moment someone takes it from you, your soul is mine. So, mad titan, let me ask you, do we have a deal? We do, we are of a court, good, good. Then I shall reshape myself for a more easy fit into your glove, your infinity gauntlet. But remember, Thanos, if the heroes take it from you, your soul is mine. Snap! <laughs> Did you enjoy this role play? I hope so. If you have, subscribe to Role Play Riot so you can see when the next Dr. Scapula returns. And by all means, I'll be happy to make a deal just for.